What's going on guys, it's your boy Gio here, back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be answering the question, do anabolic steroids cause hair loss? Let's get into it. Also, before I get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It is always a huge help and it lets me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Also, please note that anabolic steroids are illegal in most countries and can cause a number of side effects. This video is exclusively intended for information purposes only. The short answer is yes, steroids can cause hair loss. There's a reason why the majority of pro IFBB or NPC bodybuilders are lacking in the hair region. But it's not a simple yes or no answer, there are a lot of differing factors that determine the reason for hair loss. The most common explanation as to how androgenic alopecia develops is a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, DHT for short. This hormone binds to the receptors of the hair follicles. Over the time, it leads to their shrinkage and eventually hair follicles become so small that they stop producing hair altogether. And since DHT is derived from testosterone, logically speaking, using more testosterone is going to contribute to the conversion of the excess testosterone into DHT, effectively speeding up the process of hair loss. Steroids by themselves do not have a direct impact on hair loss, however the 5-alpha reductase enzyme binds the testosterone and converts it into DHT. And this, therefore, increases the chances of hair loss progressing much faster. And since some steroids are very similar in structure to testosterone, those can also be converted into DHT using 5-alpha reductase. But it's not that easy, and you can't blame it all on DHT, because genetics also factor into that equation. For example, how come Brandon Curry has hair while Phil Heath or Big Ramney don't? I'm speculating here, but I'm sure their drug cycles are relatively identical. Though obviously genetics also determine how sensitive hair follicles are to DHT, as some people are highly resilient to this hormone, while others aren't. However, there are hormonal medications that decrease DHT levels and can counter this process quite effectively, like finasteride. Finasteride is available only as a prescription treatment for hair loss. Researches and multiple clinical trials have shown that it lowers DHT levels by up to 70%. Deuteroside is another one which is a much more potent medication than finasteride, which reduces DHT levels by up to 90%. You can check out a video of finasteride versus deuteroside for a more extensive breakdown, or you could read the article. They will both be available in the description box down below. But anyway, steroids that are prone to cause hair loss the most are the following. Anadrol is a very well-known hair loss steroid. It metabolizes very rapidly to estrogen and testosterone accelerating hair loss at a high rate in males and females respectively. Dianabol, which is more androgenic than anabolic, therefore it is harmful to the hair, so 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride and deuteroside won't really help when it comes to this. Trembolone is another powerful androgenic and anabolic steroid that is very harmful for the hair follicles. It is actually a DHT derivative, and although there is a lot of false information out there about DHT-derived steroids not causing hair loss, this is purely anecdotal and should not be taken seriously. Winterol is the absolute worst steroid when it comes to its side effect profile when concerning hair loss. Like in the case of Trembolone and Dianabol, even high doses of finasteride and deuteroside will not help you much. This one is so strong that even users who are not particularly prone to androgenic alopecia report hair loss when using. So, bottom line, if you're concerned about your hair, the safest option is obviously to not take steroids at all. If your hair is sensitive to DHT, it will fall out if your body receives enough androgens. And once hair loss is started due to androgenic alopecia, getting back the lost hair will be a whole lot more difficult than preventing it. Especially considering there are a lot of other health risks and concerns when it comes to taking anabolic steroids. And although I am not a medical professional by any means, I strongly advise you not to take any of the steroids mentioned or any other steroids for that matter, unless you are a professional level athlete and bodybuilder. But to be honest, I don't need to be a doctor to be able to tell you that taking steroids poses far greater risks than just losing your hair. So you should always consult with a medical professional prior to even thinking about using. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you're looking for more tips on hair growth, beard care, and beard grooming, you can check out our website here, GC. It'll be linked in the description box down below for anything and everything hair and beard related. My name is Gio, and as always, people, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.